Are you bored of the same old, same old things in Sonatica? Are you stuck wishing that there was more to do in Sonatica? There is nothing else to do, said one gamer. This game is so boring. One reviewer said that totally isn't me. Do you feel like Sonatica is getting kind of boring? Do you wish you could do things that the game doesn't allow you to do? Like to use a warp cannon, or to use a rifle, or to do whatever this thing does. If you feel this way, you should try modding the game. What? You don't know how? How to mod Subnautica? Don't worry, this video is for you. Cringy intros aside, welcome to my tutorial on how to mod Subnautica. I made a video on this last year. It's a little outdated, so I thought I would do it again. And also, someone sent me an email asking me to do it. The majority of mods for Subnautica will require Q mods, which is this. Obviously, all the links will be in the description to everything I'm downloading. And this is a little bit of a modding manager, I guess. And then there's SML modding helper, which, as it sounds, I think it makes it a little bit easier to make a mod for this game. And then I'm going to be downloading the Red Baron mod, which basically lets you do whatever you want. Life support refills hunger, water, and health while on board your Seamoth. Anti-gravity engine lets you fly. Maneuvering jet allows you to rotate using Q and R. Beckon call. There's a new upgrade for the Seamoth, and if you have a certain item, it'll take about 10 seconds to teleport to you. Let's go with the Q mod manager. Go ahead and click on the manual button. It'll bring up this. It should start downloading automatically, and if it doesn't start automatically downloading within a couple seconds, there's a blue button that you can't see because this is in the way. I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. Once that's done downloading, open it up. Windows is going to ask you if you want QMods to make changes to your device. Click yes. I know you probably couldn't see the screen because that's how OBS works. Once opened, it'll take you to the setup wizard. Click on next. Now it can be, it can be installed for either Subnautica Blow Zero or the original Subnautica. Now you have to choose where to put it. If you have Steam and you want to choose it for Subnautica, all you have to do is click on the Subnautica button and it'll automatically fill it in. And the same thing with Subnautica below zero. If you're using Epic Games, click on Browse, go to Program File, look for Epic Games, and then there'll be a folder for whatever game you're using. Since I don't have either of them, I can't select it, so pick the game you're using, click OK. I'm gonna hit Cancel, Original Subnautica, click on Next. It's going to confirm which one it's going to install for. Click on Next, click on Install, give it a couple seconds. This window will pop up and it'll do its thing, and now it's done. Click on finish. Now if you go into the location of your Sonatica game, there will be an uninstall application for QMods and a QMods folder. Obviously there's nothing in it right now. So we can close out the tab for QMods. Now let's go to SML Modding Helper. If you want you can close this out. Click on manual and it will require you to download it. I don't know why some are automatic and some aren't. But now since you have QMods, you can go straight to the QMods folder. Click on save. Now I'm going to open file location, extract. It's just going to be a .zip file so you can click on extract all. Click on browse and just select the QMods. Click on extract and then you'll get a new folder called modding helper. You can delete the .zip folder, close that tab, and open up to the mod page. Click on manual, download, click on save, show in folder, extract all, browse, select folder, extract. Now there's a red baron folder. You can delete the red baron that zip folder since you no longer need it. After you X out of everything, you can enjoy your mods. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you happen to be new to my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Yeah.